Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Gold Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and guys, we have a lot to cover today. We have the latest on Ben Bishop, sounds like he is done in his NHL career and the latest on John Klingberg and the potential price tag for him coming up this offseason. So we'll be going over all of that in the Lone Star State in today's video. So the Dallas Stars have a lot going on right now. Things have been kind of weird with the Dallas Stars recently. You look at their last couple games, they're on a seven-game winning streak, you know, to end the month of November. And things have kind of gone sideways here in December. They're currently on a three- or four-game losing streak, last time I checked. So what's going on in Dallas? And what's the latest in terms of their long-term future? Now, we got some clarity on that this past week, and we may get some more clarity over the next couple of months. In regards to John Klingberg. So we're going to start off with that. So Saad Youssef, a hockey insider. There is belief that John Klingberg is a 9 to 9.5 million AAV dollar defenseman. And is a player on the free agency market. Now that kind of kind of goes against what we've been, you know, doesn't really go against what we've been hearing. The fact that. Chances are, with Dallas's salary cap situation, they have too many guys they have to bring back, and they're not necessarily going to have the money, excuse me, they're not going to have the money here in order to keep John Klingberg. As much as they would probably love to do that, it just doesn't seem like it's in the cards right now for the Dallas Stars. Now, with that said, there's a lot we have to get to. There is more to just... Well, they don't have the money, and why is he asking for the price he's asking for? So, let's start things off with how much cap space they have, and, and where they're going to allocate their money to, because at the end of the day, right now, they have zero money in projected cap space. Nothing. Now, they do have $4 million in salary pool, or salary cap relief, um, but at the end of the day, they have way too many guys coming off the books this year. So the only guys that are here past this season in Dallas are, I could name them off my fingers, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn, Radek Faxa, Hrupe Hentz, Luke Glendening, Joel Kivaranta, uh, Jacob Pedersen, Tanner Kiro, Miro Heiskinen, Essa Lindell, Ryan Suter, Yanni Hakenpa, and Joel Hanley, as well as goalie Anton Hudobin. Everybody else, free agent. So the problem is when you have Joe Pavelski and Alex Radulov. Now, just depending on where Dallas is, I wouldn't be surprised if Dallas decides they're going to be our own rentals or they're going to decide come trade deadline. You know, being the hockey news guy that I am, I hate to say it, I'd rather see the stars selling at the deadline. It would make things more interesting because they have a lot to sell. You have Pavelski. One year left on his deal. Alex Radulov, one year left on his deal. Those guys would be coveted in terms of maybe a first, maybe a second round draft pick as a rental. And again, they're in their mid-30s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 35 for Radulov and 37 for Pavelski. So they probably won't be coming back. And again, because they aren't going to have the money for the younger guys. Now, here's the guys that will probably stick around. Der Dennis Gurionov. He's a guy they picked up from the Florida Panthers. He's actually done quite well in Dallas. And I wouldn't be surprised if they saw him in a middle six role. Probably not a top, probably not a first line forward. But again, a good winger that could play in the middle six. He's due for a contract. Michael Raffle, we probably won't see him return again. An older player, 33 years old, final year of a $1.1 million deal. They'll probably let him go. Now, the problem is Jason Robertson is also, he will be a restricted free agent this coming offseason. So that's off the books. They got to keep money for him allocated. So really forwards wise, the only guys they're really going to be investing money into are Gurianov, who could